To start to understanding how to draw a circle is actually a, a very good beginning to understanding the illustrator. So because the circle is such a good uh, material. So let's go start to open the illustrator and you open a letter size or any of the size. Um, well, I also recommend it and maybe you can just use in common. So common is a horizontal uh, landscape mode um, document also using RGB color profile. Um, so it's good for pra practice at the beginning. Okay, so I we'll have this one here. So first things we want to do is to match or uh, to create the standard uh, environment. So you can uh, repeat what you see on the screen. Um, so first thing we want to do is go to the top right corner to go to the essentials, so we we'll change it to essential classic. So and also you want to recite the essential classic. So that makes sure that we have all the uh, the, the current good option uh, for begin uh, learning Illustrator. So first, uh, how we can draw the draw a circle is say the L. So uh, the shortcut is L key, and uh, what you can do is hold, let's try that one. So hold Option and the Shift, hold down those two keys, and then click and drag so you can draw a circle. So that's a so simple um, circle uh, that you know you, without thinking too much, so you can get a perfect circle. And uh, let's delete this one. So um, how about we try to click and drag directly without all the modifier keys? Um, so what you got could could it be oval shape, and also could it be a a circle when you see those uh, line, those purple line to smart guideline to indicate that this is a circle. So um, that also work. So uh, now we have the circle. So how we can um, do something with the circle? So usually the first things what people want to see is to uh, find some color option. So there are one first essential uh, shortcut to remember is the function F6. Okay, function key F6. So when you hit F6, you have this color, um, you know, uh, control panel open. So just click, uh, you know, drag this one here. So, uh, but default setting, I don't know why they put a very small size of uh, control panel here. Um, what you need to do is, first of all, uh, make this one bigger. Okay. So then you can uh, control and to give color for all this. So let's try this. So I'm going to give this one a blue color, um, but also give this one a, a stroke, um, a stroke with different color. So to do so, uh, you will need to hold, uh, you know, to for a regular color and click blue. And uh, uh, to change the stroke color, you want to hold option and uh, click click this um, color, so they will change the stroke color. So combine them together, there will another one called the Shift F6. Remember the color is uh, F6. And the Shift F6, when you open that, it's called the Appearance. So it's doing uh, to control the, uh, the appearance of the select object. This is so essential control as well. So what you want to do from here is to, um, let's do say, uh, I want to select a stroke and I want to say, um, I want a boulder stroke. So you can go here directly, change this one, the, the boulder stroke. Okay, so if I'm going to do a color, uh, for this, and you can one single click the stroke color and add this uh, color change as well. Okay, so you know that this one can also access some advanced uh, circle uh, or stroke control. Um, so, for example, uh, we can add a second stroke, um, you know, uh, attached together uh, for the current object. So, it's very simple. The first icon here called click add a new stroke. So uh, if we click this, it will basically duplicate the current select stroke. Um, but let's say I'm going to change this one to um, a little bit different color, let's say a uh, green. Um, and I can lower this, you know, reduce the size of the green. So I can see uh, those two color combination uh, showing there. Okay. 
Uh, you can keep going to add a new one. So with a little bit smaller, um, you know, but it's a different in size. So let's say I'm gonna go get the pink color, uh, and I'm gonna to reduce this one as well. Okay, you know, you can you can kind of like a balance those um, those setting to create a very interesting, uh, you know, patterns for those. You know, remember this this also have the order which one go first and when you go the uh, the bottom. Okay, so now we have a very, you know, beautiful um, circle here. And uh, so let's put on the side, let's do that one more time, how we can draw the circle. So you see the L, okay, hold the shift, the essential one to get a perfect circle uh, without uh, too many guys the, uh, uh, where to place the uh, cursors, um, is to hold the shift and drag the, to draw a perfect circle. Okay, so now we have a new challenge. So when we draw that, we still have this basic, um, you know, color setting. We have the blue and uh, we have the red stroke. But uh, what if I would just want to make this one back to the beginning? So hit a D. So the shortcut is D. So shortcut is D. So do the L, hold shift and draw a circle. And then hit the D to give you this basic stroke. So a uh, basic setting. So what's the basic setting? Think, really think about it. You grab a pen and draw on white paper. So that will be, um, you know, the, the white background and with black stroke. So we can actually see that. So in most of the case, when we do the design, we'll, you know, um, at the beginning, we may not using stroke. So how can we quickly, how can we quickly change the stroke setting is to um, go here, actually a shift F6. So that's the first priority setting here um, because it make everything easy to see. So you see the stroke, um, just highlight this one and type slash, okay? So tap slash as we turn off the stroke. Okay, so uh, that's the way we can turn off a stroke. But before that, let's do Command Z back. So what I want to do is we actually uh, swap those color to make this one solid color fill and stroke white color. So it's Shift X. So Shift X. So we switch those two. Um, now we have this uh, uh, stroke highlighted, and we just highlight this one and using a uh, slash. So we turn off the stroke, so we get a perfect stroke. Okay, so to come continue this uh, practice, so I'm gonna do a few more to really understanding how we can build a stroke. So um, in some case, we have the, uh, you know, the size requirement, the dimension. How can do a size requirement? Well, actually, it's very easy. So you can do hit L and one single click. Um, and then that will be ellipse setting here. So if you want to do a circle, you want to first constrain the uh, proportion here. And then say, I'm going to do a 300 pixel. Uh, so we just type a 300 and hit OK. So we can have this one um, just right here. Okay, just a perfect circle. So the one things we we love those Illustrator uh, method is so perfect. So because of fast and perfect, so without adjustment, without I guess the where where to start, where to end. Um, what you just need to do is L one click the mouse click and type the uh the number you want for the uh, for the uh size of the circle and hit return so you got this one here okay so uh, let's go click um that um so for example you might gonna we're gonna to give this one a color. Uh, you want to make sure that the the front color was selected. Okay, the front color, uh, you know, fill color was selected. You hit X to uh, we will see this this part. You can see this um, one. You can switch uh, which one on the uh, front. The fill color one on the front. So. What I want to do is to give this one some kind of a, a color and um, let's have a duplication for this one. How can duplicate this? Okay, there are several ways we can duplicate that, um, but I want to show you a very, very cool way. So, um, and also can duplicate a lot, okay? 
So what I'm gonna do is uh, let's go give this one a more visible color. For example, uh, a little bit darker purple. Um, and uh, from here, we'll do Shift X. So then you know that it's just only uh, stroke, only stroke. So from here, we hit S and return. Okay, that's a beautiful uh, scale setting. Um, so you will see this one, um, you want to re reduce. That's also, you know, most of the time we use this one to reduce. Um, but let me show you one way we can uh, exploring the possibility of the circles. Um, so you go here and you type, let's do a crazy one. So let's, how about to do 10%? Um, I'm going to hit the copy again. It's a copy, it's not okay. Okay, so it's a copy in this one. Uh, hit the copy, so we got a two. And then we're going to select the, um, both, um, you know, elements. So how can select both? And uh, you can hit a V and select both. Okay, but there are several different ways that's you know when we talk about that when I think is the property time. So, but hit a, simply hit a V and select those two and do Command Option Command Option B Command Option B. So we you know we kind of create something in between something between. So what this is called a blend. So we can use this method to blend to create um, some radiation uh, graphics. But here is a little bit, you know, not so much. Uh, we want a little more and more uh, radiation line. So how we can make this is actually very simple. Follow this uh, simple um, instruction here. So in the W, think about a wave. You're gonna have to make a lot of a wave from the center to the end, right? So hit the W, and you don't have to think about what's the function, what's the name of the two. You just follow is follow this uh, demonstration, and you don't even need to go back to recheck because some content, you know, the concept of a ten times fast um, of learning creative tool is really just follow the flow okay just follow the flow just watch and watch three times you understand and uh, try that first time if you you lost somewhere just you know just continue so don't you don't have to go back so hit the w and return so we have the blend option here so let's go check a preview and you go to there are several this uh, you know uh, things here we can you, you can try but let's go to the simple one steps so from here we're gonna to change this one from one and we'll change this one to ten so you know you see that is uh, we create a very nice beautiful uh, ingredients uh, too so let's do a very quick preview um, so we now have that okay so you can even do more so let's just uh, duplicate this one and you know sometimes you can you know using this one to create a very nice radiation line here um, a little bit overlap of beautiful graphics um, think about this the possibility over here is endless so you can draw a circle and uh, select them together and hit the command seven so create a nice beautiful graphic okay so i'm going to release this and um, you know we'll talk about that little things later um, you know, we will continue to developing uh, the possibility to find how can do with just simple geometry shapes. So let's go ahead and uh, handle this one here. Um, so now let's go select this one. Remember the strategy, how we can change the stroke uh, of, uh, you know, how we can control, fully control the object is shift F6, shift F6. So you go here and go to the stroke and go here directly uh, increasing that. So we see you can create this beautiful gradient um, shapes, you know, like that. It's so beautiful. And you can also change to a different color and to see the, 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 the difference. Okay. Um, so let's uh, finish this one. And uh, uh, we do this one, we'll finish that one. And let's go see what we can do with this concept. Okay, so now uh, we have this duplication. We can also do one thing, this is pretty cool, uh, is double click and select the center point in this little circle here. And I'm gonna just change this one a little bit off the center. So you can see that when you change it, uh, it's become something else, okay? So it's show, you know, change the possibility. 
So this is a very good uh, uh, practice you want to try. So um, you may say, well, I may miss in some point, uh, but I like the, the graphics. So that's totally okay. So we're going to um, do that one more time and, uh, you know, to continue to uh, do more things. So let me just uh, highlight all those things. Um, let's do that one more time, and but with slightly different ingredients. So let's try to start with um, hit L and we'll draw a circle here. So um, if you see this element and this object, um, try to read this one, like just read our article uh, here to understanding the appearance of this one is the stroke 10 and the fill with a slash, a red slash. Uh, slash key. Um, that means there's no actual fill color. It's transparent. So how we can see this is transparent or not transparent? So this is a transparent. So we can put on the side onto uh, the, uh, the background and the canvas. Um, so or you can have a duplication here. Uh, so let's give this one a fill color. So you want to go open that fill color. Give this one white or something else. You know you can see that it's color so that's how those things work okay so now let's try to um, to do something and repeat the concept we learned early um, so the uh, first thing we want to do is to the repeat okay so now I'm going to have a duplication on the right hand side so how we do this is hit the V to verify you know sometimes we don't need to do that one uh, again but Think about we have when we have a very uh, beginning users. You are truly welcome to attend this because it's designing for you as well. Um, so you click and drag and have a, a, a hold option key. You want to hold option all the way um, and don't just don't release it. Okay. So and uh, drag this one and release. Uh, uh, the mouse first and then release the keyboard. Okay, so now we have a duplication here. So I can do this with those two. Actually, you can select both. Okay, so let me just do a little bit dramatic and then bring everything back to the canvas. So let's select them all together and we'll do the same magic key command option blend command option B so to blend them together. So in this case, I might, I mean, just need a five. Or I mean, you just need you know how many how many uh, how many you want. Um, so you all you need is W W. So hit it W and return and change your preview. And from here we're gonna to change the steps. So you can increase the steps. So remember the steps is new additional uh, you know steps is not including those uh, both end. Okay, so have these steps and we can create more uh, copies. Okay, so you can find, you know, it's a very uh, interesting uh, pattern. So, and also uh, beautifully, you can change the stroke color to make a nice transition. So let's do a purple. So you see, this is a beautiful uh, graphics. It can be used for multiple, uh, you know, situation. Um, so we're gonna do this one here. You will see we're doing the same technique. Uh, we just drag this one, hit the option, and have a duplication here, and the command option B. You know, see the little bit difference here. So hit the W return, preview, um, steps, and increasing that. You will see this is just one side. It's, it's not actually, I can see through those lines. Okay, so um, it's different. It's because the one of those um, were those basic elements do have uh, the fill color, so they were covered because this generates a, a multiple copies. But what you can try to combine what we learned before is the swap between fill color and the stroke color. So you're going to do Shift X, um, and you will see this is a quite amazing uh, result. Uh, so you can see that, um, and uh, um, that could be. Created, created something very interesting, uh, you know, uh, graphic elements for your design project. Um, but let's try to do, you know, um, play a little with the, a little bit with this. Uh, so you can double click and select one of this, and uh, what you can try to do, for example, uh, you can change the position. Of course, you can make this one a little bit closer. 
because you decided the steps, so uh, it's we're based on that steps. Okay, so um, what we can also do is we can change the shapes. Okay, and even can rotate. Okay, uh, we can cut some of this, so you can see this kind of like a transition. At a certain stage, we can see this is really like a face, uh, like some human face, you know, the nose here. So now a new question. This is also very useful uh, for a professional graphic artist to find uh, some interesting shapes to uh, remaking uh, elements. So I kind of like things in between um, the, the shapes draw is more close to a face. Um, so how can we do this to to make it make it my okay it's so not um, just that um, so um, one very important step to really transform those shapes into yours uh, to fully back to the uh, you know control mode is go to object so this is an object okay all things we select is some type of an object is not type not select, not effect, it's object. So we're going to object and we're going to um, to expand. So you see, we see this one, expand um, and expand, it's just using the default setting option. So now by default, expand is a group. So you want to do command shift G. I will re always recommend it to command shift G three times. Um, so because this will, will have, make sure that you uh, unlock everything. So now I have this one. So just move this one out. Okay, beautifully we have this customized shapes. Uh, so we can use them for um, of a different purpose. Okay, so um, now let's see what we can do continually to see the possibility with the circles. So I'm going to hide those two as well. So let's do hiding those uh, things. Um, and um, you may say, well, how we can hide those? How how we can you know uh, clean the, the things um, you know without uh, uh, creating a new document because creating a new document with of time. This is a uh, ten times fast. We wanted to do everything to uh, accelerate your workflow um, because the fast in in the digital environment based on my many many years of uh, use and teach experience. The fast is a truly beautiful words for uh, a, a professional uh, digital designers. Um, if you can do things fast, you're good. Okay, you're more accurate. So let's try to um, see some of the concept. So uh, first things I want to do is let's just draw this one from the beginning, and I'm going to need a solid, let's say, orange. Uh, solid orange uh, thing, solid orange circle. So I draw a circle and I want to have a duplication. The a very famous, um, very famous uh, logo called MasterCard, you, would, you may already know, is two color combination. So you would go to their website. Okay, so um, MasterCard. Okay, you will see this uh, very simple logo here. Let's just copy a very small uh, things here for uh, understanding purpose. Okay, so you can go there to quickly search and get a mascot logo or any type of those logo. But just want to give you the concept how those things work. We just have this one copied here and we have one side here. Um, so you may think how we can make it. Uh, well, actually, it's not that easy. Uh, we think it's easy. So you may say, I'm using Pass Vendor. I'm using uh, something else. And uh, I'm using uh, overlay, um, you know, transparency. Okay, it's, to the, it's 2020. It's, it's not any previous year. So we think really think what is the current strategy. So the first things I want to do is just a, a quickly um, Pick a color uh, for there. So, wait, wait, wait. How we can do this? Um, oh, let's let me just go back. So first, I want to do is I want to do repeat uh, this. Uh, you actually create three copies. Okay, you try each time which one way works fast. So let's try. Okay, let's try that. So uh, have this one selected. I'm gonna to get the red color. So the shortcut for this one is I. 
Okay, uh, hit I, I get a color, so I get this one changed. So then I had V, uh, I select this one, and hit I again, and get this uh, yellow color. So I don't have a plan, anything for the middle, because it's only two objects. It's nothing in the middle, okay? So it looks over, you know, looks uh, overlapped, but it's not, okay? So um, in theory, it's just two perfect circles uh, put together. There's, you know, it, we don't have that piece. So the second plan is how we can pick a color fast. So how we can get there is that still we need the eye um, and get a color here. So now let's see the difference. What I'm gonna do to select the second one is not using V to switch. Instead, I'm gonna using hold down command key, uh, hold down command key, um, and you know if you're using Windows, there will be control key. So hold down that and directly click this, okay, and release um, and get the color. So this fast, this quite fast, okay. So. Um, the finally we got this one here so let me get hide those two um so finally we got this one here so let's see uh, i'm gonna resize um and how we can get those color so i'm using a the very important one called a lab pen to hit a k hit a k and so there was this is lab pen so the 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 recipe is you will need two object at least the two object you select both, you select both, and then you hit a K, you hit the option to get a color, okay? And release, apply the color. Option, get the middle color, release, apply middle color. Option down, the yellow color, release, and give this one that color. Okay, so now we have this. Um, this is a beautiful, uh, sub, you know, create this uh, element. So we're gonna do that one more time. So, um, you know, you don't have to go back uh, because we're gonna do repeat this concept again and again until you understand. This is also my um, teaching uh, method. And when I'm teaching um, into face-to-face -face class, I'm actually a college teacher. Um, so. Uh, so what I what I learned from the uh, my many many years of the teaching uh, for the digital software, all kind of a digital software, is that you will need uh, we call it creative repeat, creative repeat. So um, and the the goal is to achieve fast. You know we want to try to attend time faster than your current workflow. Okay. So uh, first we have a circle, and click hold option. Drag so you have a duplicate, uh, and you can hold the shift combine with the shift key when you move it uh, to get this one uh, have a duplication, and then um, to some to to uh, to get a color uh, first we're gonna select both okay so you wanna select both so you can hit a V and then draw a, a virtually larger box and select them, and hit a K, and Again, the recipe is a hold down option, get the color you want from a reference picture and apply it. Hold down option, get the color you want, release and then apply. Hold down option, yellow. Oh, we already have a yellow, so this is done. Okay, so now we also wanted to give you some uh, way how we can expand it. Um, so that would be the similar one as we introduced early, how it blend. So they're all, they're all same pattern. So you wanna to go to object. So this is an object. Anything you see this one special, you know, like a snowflake uh, control uh, or any other control, uh, it's object. It's computer made generated object. So what we need to do is, you, anytime you wanna do that, you want to expand this object, okay? And expand object, and then directly do command shift G three times. Okay, so command shift hold down those two, uh, modify key, and then type G G G three times. Um, that will make sure that you can release and get those those pieces. Okay, uh, so you now actually have uh, multiple pieces things done. Okay, command Z you can go back uh, uh, to uh, continue that.
Okay, so to do a circle, I also want to think about how we can, um, you know, understanding circles, and uh, um, so it's a good way to training yourself. We talk about, you know, in this in my channel, I always think about how we can how we can help you to achieve the better you. Um, so let's try to, um, you know, to find uh, how we can do this. Okay, so. Um, now we have circles. So there are a lot of circles here. Um, if you go, just go Google image and search circle. So they will see this uh, quite a lot of uh, circles. Um, so one, um, let's see what we can do with that circle, if, uh, including everything. Uh, so uh, basically, this is not actually a circle. This is something else. Um, but we can actually uh, try that. This concept. So. You know, sometimes you need a multiple circles. So how can you do this? Uh, you can actually convert a circle into a, a basic a symbol, uh, into a symbol. So let's try to, um, you know, I think that's a good will be a good topic to try. So I will draw a circle, and I'm going to give the circle a stroke. Okay, a simple stroke. Okay, so now I'm going to do uh, my symbol icon, uh, symbol uh, folder, uh, control panel. It's Command Shift F11. Command Shift F11. So you may be surprised oh, how you can remember this. I'm teaching those things every day. So uh, you go to here, but it, you know, uh, go there, Windows, Command Shift F11. Command Shift F11. Uh, but you remember it's just something symbol. Okay, so go here. And add this one to your current uh, symbol, uh, you know, uh, uh, symbol panel here. Hit OK. So click and drag it to there. So now it's done. We we done with this. So then you can do is so Shift S, Shift S to spread those things. Um, so you can you know kind of like just click and drag. So you have a lot of uh, things there. Okay. So beautiful things here. So. The variation, you know, variety is always a beautiful word. So, how we can do this, uh, uh, you know, to create a variety of, uh, uh, for example, sizes or um, change the position is all under the symbol spread tools category. Uh, so, you want to click and hold, and so you will see those uh, icons here. So, uh, let's see. Uh, we can we can shift those two. Uh, you can click and drag to move the things around um, to kind of balance a little bit. Um, I think in this case, a very important one is the sizer tool. Um, so the sizer tool is when you directly click and drag, uh, you got this one um, a larger size. We hold the option. Uh, this one become a small size. So. Um, so you can create some uh, very interesting uh, graphic work here. So now with just one uh, click, you can create a lot of uh, circles. Um, again, so this object and uh, is a group. Okay. So uh, to make this one work for you, and you first you want to expand this object group. Okay. So you want to do uh, expand and then Command Shift G three times. So now we have all those circles. Okay, uh, so you can make them as a group, so to move them uh, around. So and that's all. You know, that's how we can do with this one. So um, we're done with this one. So let's see if there are anything we're missing here. Um, so um, this is introduced to circles. Um, I think this is also very um, you know good uh, you know way. Let me just show something else. Uh, we can actually do something. Uh, a little bit cooler. So remember what we do with the um, circle. Okay, we have the circle here, and we give the circle um, some stroke. Okay, so um, to give a simple stroke, um, we can uh, you know uh, switch to the stroke, uh, or just simply using the Shift F6. So um, and to give a little bit stroke. Okay, um, so this one may be a little bit too big for for the this. Uh, uh, practice. So I'm going to do put this one to the center of the canvas. Okay, um, and I'm going to copy one here. So from this one, I'm going to hit S return. I'm going to change this one to 200. Okay, 200 size. 
Uh, so now I'm going to do command select both and do a command option B. So we can you know you can see that uh, we create this um, you know transition. But um, we see a problem is uh, this one have different space. So uh, between issue circles. So how can we fix this? Quite, uh, fix this things is uh, the W return. So this time a radio, um, and then we change this one to uh, specify the distance. Uh, so in this distance, we're going to try to give this one a larger distance. So, you know, so you can have them the same distance. Okay, the same distance. So hit OK. All right. So now we get this. Okay, now get this. Um, so let's try to uh, create a rotation. Uh, so how to create a simple rotation is, you know, you can just do hit R and click the uh, anchor point here and do a rotation. So uh, let me just repeat this. This is not our one recommended way, but, uh, you know, sometimes this can produce uh, interesting work. So let's do, um, you know, uh, you hold a rotation, for example, um, like the, let's do about a 12 uh, degree, and then you hit the command D for duplication. So, um, you know, every time you do that, you would do, uh, you would create a, this type of a circle. But this method is cool, uh, but it's not very accurate. So how we can do this one um, is, well, basically, let's try this one. So we're gonna do um, in the appearance panel, and go FX, FX, and, uh, uh, from here, we're going to uh, change this uh, to this drawer and transform and transform. Okay, so in this window, we're going to select this one uh, to the bottom. Okay, so uh, now we're going to do a simple uh, calculate, calculating uh, what, how many things we need. So how many copies we want? So one circle is a 360 degree. And we slash that, and uh, you know, I uh, say I want 24, um, 24. So, and then you hit it, you know, you just type this and hit the tab key. So they were calculating how many steps you needed. Okay, so here that's will be the 15. Uh, so I'm going to have this one put it 24. Um, so now I have this one um, duplicated. Okay, duplicated in 24. Uh, so, and uh, you can also to change the scale or move, uh, you know, to to show some difference. So in this case, we need we may need to move a little bit because the central point is a slightly different. Um, so we may need uh, to move this one here somewhere. Um, but there are several ma different methods to fix those things. Um, you know, uh, what I mentioned is very just a little bit. Uh, you know, the circle. Um, would match with the, the bottom center. So, um, but just want to show you this uh, this concept, okay? So um, another way to create this could be using uh, using the uh, the pen to brush, okay? So to create uh, some circle shapes. So, but that's that's kind of like a different uh, concept. We're not doing that one here. So let's do this one one more time. Hit L and we give this one a different color. So command shift F11. Okay, we drag this one to make a new symbol. Hit OK. Delete. Okay, so the one thing that you know you're really gonna confuse is a delete. Okay, so shift S to make sure that you select this one. So this time you can also hit a return um, to change this. Uh, uh, tools option so you can give this one some type of option okay um, intensity um, or you, if you wanted this one to be uh, fast or small but uh, you know you already you can just spread so you want this one to be a little bit more you can just stay a little bit longer time okay so now we have uh, this um, you know the circles here okay so um, very interesting and uh, very useful actually. So when you resize, you can uh, don't forget to resize. Hold the shift key to resize it. Okay. Uh, well, actually, this one to move it. It's needed to actually 
select the line and it was a line okay so now since we are using um we'll just talk a little bit about that um since we're using the um it's so the question may be how we can change the color so how can we do this well it's actually uh, when you want to do this uh you want to um you will just change that it won't work okay so you, you go directly change the color that won't work so how we do this is we will go back to the uh, symbol panel double click um so double click the the original object and then you can give this one different color so see i'm changing this one to green and double click um i will leave that as the, uh, so we can get this uh this panel here okay so it's really uh, a fast way so you can change the multiple uh, shapes here um so you can combine with uh, multiple color and the multiple options okay so you can do uh, the one with fill color okay and uh, with different transparency you just need to make this one as a pattern uh, as a symbol and just spray them okay so um let's clean this one so to continue to understanding circle how we can play with the circle um the another things i wanted to show is how we can make this a circle background image so uh, hit the L and uh, withdraw a perfect circle. So now we have a perfect circle. So usually what we'll do is to create, um, you know, um, sometimes we need to create a circle and the crop image and the put image in. So um, from here, I'm going to uh, do a very quick, uh, a very quick uh, search. Okay, so. Um, you know, maybe for example, this one. So how can put this one into it? Okay, Hope, uh, you know, we're just using this one for a quick reference picture. Um, so we'll go here, we do a screenshot and how can put this one in? Okay, so we paste, that won't work. Um, and how can get this one in is to select this circle and then shift D, shift D until you see this uh, line here the dash line dash corner line so at that this mo this con uh, uh, stage um status you can do command v and the paste the image in okay paste the image into it and you can change the size of course you can do that uh hold the shift key to change the size okay you can put a different type of a picture in uh you can print uh, you can you can do something by yourself um, so this is just a reference picture. Um, so now how we can um, say, um, I wish to have this uh, this uh, color stroke, so you can increase the stroke, so you can still see the stroke, okay? All right, so let's go uh, to change, uh, let's go move forward. So um, we're gonna try something else and uh, to continue the uh, understanding of circles. Um, so another one I'm gonna to uh, introduce how we can do advanced, uh, but is an uh, individual uh, transform uh, setting. So which one of my favorite um, things I, I think it's quite applied to circle. So what I'm gonna do is we hit a, a circle to create a circle, kind of like from the top beginning um, point here. So I'm gonna do give this one. Uh, a little bit of solid color so you may know that it's uh, you know it's just simple solid color so now i'm going to give this one a little bit of rounder setting so it's not the perfect circle so and uh, so when we rotate you can actually see those things okay so now i'm going to do is to create multiple copies so um a faster way you know you can actually there are several different fast way um so but if the quantity is a lot uh, I would recommend that you do um, go that method. So command, so like you know, have two duplication. Command option uh, B. Uh, so we can have those duplication uh, directly setting here. So it's a certain steps. Uh, <coughs> so um, and, and then uh, expand and expand. <coughs> okay, and the command shift G three times or more okay so you can also use a traditional way to um, bring this one down the whole bar we we'll hold option key uh, go here command d uh, make it some duplication okay so uh, when we have this one here i want to show my one of my favorite um, you know key here uh, is command option shift d 
<coughs> it's called transform each transform each control um, if you will use Windows is control option shift D so transform each so I'm gonna do a simple rotation um, you know so let's say I want to limit the rotation degree to be possible full circle so 360 um, angles okay um, so and then next will be random so I can want to give them a random sorting um, so we see this is a give this one random sorting so all the elements show different rotation attributes all different so it's beautiful sighting um, so you can also change this one um, to a little bit of different number to see if you wanted to um, change it to something else okay um, so just go there click this highlight the input area and uh, you can uh, you know input the, this uh, angle uh, limitation um, so hit OK here so um, this is actually a pretty nice um, work so but how we can do uh, a little bit more for example um, you can what we can do is you know there one other um, function is a shift R uh, we can uh, using this one to alter this sh select the shape so uh, let's say we can do something like this uh, to give us one more um, organic or uh, more different um, shapes for each indiv each individual uh, so once we got this one here and you can select all together and do command option D uh, so we see this you know uh, continue to transform and also you can uh, to change where is the center of the rotation since we already changed that element uh, so when you change this uh, rotation center uh, relative to the rotation center you will find some very interesting uh, combination here so uh, let's say let's say hit OK um, so now I have um, some elements so I'm going to uh, put some image in or some you know maybe just color so um, to get some inspirations from a color I'm going to find some inspiration of a color so let me just go to Google um, let me just go to the Google website uh, home page so you may see that well okay so that could be a, a, a picture this could be any picture I would just use this one as a quick reference um, so I put this one here so I select this group and I hit a K and now I can you know you can pick a color and hold option get a color and apply it all right so in blue and all using the same color you don't have to make a perfect choice and uh, you know you already in, in my classroom I found a student to try to find the perfect solution okay um, there's no perfect solution you only have one solution that you selected and uh, but you have the option to fix it later okay so if you do you have nothing uh, there's nothing to fix okay so um, it's pretty true so there's no experience so that's why we need to do things again and again multiple times and uh, to achieve the goal and uh, to make the elements we like okay so when you see look a close look this is a beautiful shapes and then you know nice color combination so this could be using for uh, a lot of a different purpose and um, you know you can find uh, 10 different pictures go um, different website to find a piece of a uh, uh, news picture so um, for example go to the New York Times um, and uh, we can find any of those, uh, you know, uh, pictures. And the New York Times is a brand new now. Uh, but let's go um, see. Okay, so there's some pictures here. I can just go cut a, a little bit of portion of that image. Okay, so um, try to get some inspirations because we may not finally use those color. So hit the K option color. Okay. You can you can actually click and, and uh, you know drag so um, they will uh, paint right, differently. It's like that one, okay. So to get this concept, you know, you can do things pretty fast. We're not talking about some fancy stuff and dramatic stuff, but those um, circle understanding. I hope. Oh, I 
believe actually will help you to build a solid foundation um, to understanding everything as actually start with a little simple circle. So in the future class, we're going to continue uh, those type of uh, uh, practice um, and, uh, and try to, uh, you know, see all the possibility with a simple tool and to, um, to, uh, to, to see more creativity used uh, by your understanding. Okay. Another thing that we can do with this, with the circle, is using the transparency or opacity setting to create multi uh, or uh, you know uh, multi stage or multi level of a transparency circle so how can we do this is by hit the L key and the draw circle okay and then now uh, we do the s return and the change this one to a little bit smaller size but a copy okay so let's say uh, 80 percent uh, we we'll copy it okay so and then let's do another layer so s return uh, 80%. So this time we'll maybe do a little bit smaller. So let's do 70%. So um, so now we have um, three layers of uh, um, settings here. Oh, we need to copy it. Okay. So let me just do that one more time. The duplication. Okay. Now this one oh, we need. Uh, let's do a small one. Okay, we'll change that later. So I forgot to click on copy. Okay, so this one will give it a little bit different color. So you can see that's a different color. But um, with those settings, we can actually do is using the same color, but then a change the opacity. So for the background, we can change this one to let's say uh, thirty percent. For this one, go a little bit higher, fifty, and the center will be that. So where we can use those concepts? Well, it's actually, um, I actually got this one from the, the page here. So when we do the data visualization, we talk about how we can uh, combine this, uh, uh, you know, show some uh, de design works. Uh, so it's very important to show some true indicator where is the position. So usually that's what indicated with maps. So let's go, uh, you know, um, go do uh, with the Google map. Google Maps, uh, let's do Boston. Okay. All right, so you can do a screenshot and when you do the, your data work. Okay, and I put it here. So uh, you, you may notice that when you paste, always paste on the on the front, but there's actually a one shortcut you may uh, try is command the B, command the B, it will actually paste on the bottom. So while we think this technique is good, uh, it's because, um, okay, let's, uh, to see this visible, we actually need to lower this one as well so we can see some details. So actually because you can see, you can change the color. So we, every time we change the color, um, you will see this is a multi-level um, work. So it's very, very useful um, to indicator, um, you know, some something, okay? So, uh, for data graphics. Um, so this is also a very good uh, practice. So remember the, the simple techniques we're using here. So since we lost it there. So let me just do that one more time. So hit L, draw, draw a circle. So this time we'll do that directly. So we'll give this one um, 25% per, at the beginning. So S return to give this one 75% uh, copy. Okay, um, and let's return um, we gave this one 50% uh, copy. So you can see this is a directly we generated this um, this shapes. Okay, um, so it's it's a transparent, which means when you put it here, it will show differently. So um, you can go search map. Okay, so Google Map for example, and uh, uh, for any of the location to uh, navigate to show the map at a certain level and do command option shift four uh, in Windows so that will be, you know, uh, print screen, something print screen. Um, so copy this and go back to Illustrator and the command V. Well, you want to do command B, right? So we'll look at that. So command B will directly paste um, on the back 
so you can have this this object you know uh, put on the top so it's very uh, useful technique uh, to continue to um, you know work with the um, you know uh, the circle okay so a simple circle but it never think it is too simple uh, they always you know all the complete uh, complete the thing uh, or uh, sophisticated uh, sh you know graphics is made from a simple elements um, so I hope that will give you a solid understanding um, to understanding how we can uh, deal with these uh, simple shapes simple graphic elements I like to go back to the beginning to really discussion the circle and we tried a lot of uh, practice to uh, expanding the possibility of a circle but let's back to the beginning how we can start to draw up first the circle so hit L hold the shift and the option find the center canvas and draw a circle that's so easy and one practice you can do is to draw your first circle and pick the color by hit F6 so when you got F6 don't forget to expand make this longer and also pick the color you like whatever you like so finally want to add a very quick shortcut combination for you to you know give it some a little bit of bonus is a is about the gradients so we when you start quick gradients so we got a circle a circle is a beautiful you know shapes to create gradients so you want to hit the period key so then a simple period key on and you have the gradients panel on directly so now let's directly go to the free from gradients this is the latest uh, advanced tool so go to the free from gradients the third button from here and then we'll change this one to give you some uh, basic color to start with and you can click and to add any color you like to create this type of circle so it's just so simple and remember the stamp let's do that one more time L option find the center you want to hold it shift to constrain this one to give you a perfect circle not over shape you can drag draw a circle what I'll do to give this one a period key a period is shortcut to apply as basic gradients but we need something advanced than that so in the gradients panel the third button here just waiting a little bit because my document is tend to a very very uh, large document um, this one have actually a lot of uh, many layers of invisible uh, thing um, so I'm gonna just go here so this is what I did okay so it's very simple and straightforward and the keep practice and you will have a, you will learn more from this video okay so to do a little bit of advanced well it's not actually not advanced so you can actually open this so you want to just do half circle you say oh I'm trying to get this one half circle well but actually so this is a good point hit the L and draw a circle okay with this one I'm gonna give it a solid color so uh, any of the solid color so how can do this semicircle so very simple one so I'm going to copy for this and I'm going to duplicate I'm going to duplicate both okay so now this one I want to cut the top portion so how we do this switch to a the shortcut for do the anchor point and draw a virtual box and kind of just select it on top go here delete okay that's probably done but it's not actually fully done so when you check that it's, it's open it's open shape so let me show you what's the um what's supposed to this one to be um so um so i'm going to do this one and i'm going to fix this one with one simple shortcut 
So we will see this one actually a complete shape. Okay, to be a professional designer, you want to give the people the complete shape, not by a fill color, you know, aut automatically fill color. So how can we do this? Well, so you, what you can do is just select this path, okay, um, and hit the command J. Well, you must select that to end it. So you just select this one here. Um, and if you're using V to select the, this one, will, they, will auto, they, they will allow you to automatically join those two. But uh, I'm using A, so uh, well, basically you need to select those two and you want to, to connect. Hit the command J to join them together. Okay, so I'm going to do this one here. So remember, this is A mode, okay? So I did this one and directly command J. I did this one, command J. So now we have this, right? So this is a very simple uh, to create a beautiful, if you go, want to verify that you actually have the shape here. So you want to do command Y, command Y to show the outline mode, okay? So how can we do this uh, with this concept? Well, this basic shape I can actually help us to try the possibility. Okay, so let me show you one possibility that you can do with this is but combined with the idea, what we introduced is command option shift D, uh, transform each. Um, so really considering to rotate those four uh, differently. So let's try this uh, idea. So we're, we're gonna do command option shift D. And this time I'm gonna do not rotate. Instead, I'm gonna do reflect. Okay, uh, we'll reflect. So, um, you know, you just kind of like give some options and also you can definitely, you can rotate. At a certain point, you may find a very interesting pattern as a professional designer, it will give you enough clues for you to find a next creativity um, or next idea, okay? So you can also combine them together to come an option to the just let the idea fly. Just let it try. Let's see what is is maybe some combination that you really like. Okay, so finally, let's draw a circle with L. Beautiful circle. And say goodbye.